Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and today I will show you how to trigger actions in external no-code software based on the events that are happening inside of your Airtable base. Let's get to it. In many use cases in Airtable, you could imagine that you would like some other software than Airtable take some action based on the changes that are happening inside of your table. Like for example here, when a contract changes from negotiation to closed one, you might want to have sent some notification, trigger some other software generate documents. Some of those actions are possible here within the automations and you can create the automations that will create certain types of events, but you can see that the selection of integrations here is rather limited. What if the software that you would like to interact with Airtable data is not here on the list? So solution for that, we'll be using a thing which is called webhooks. And you can use webhooks from two different sources. So you can use, for example, webhooks from Zapier and then use Zapier to connect other no-code software to your um, data from Airtable based on the webhook. Or you could also use make to do the same thing. In this case, we will be using make. So let's first create a webhook. Webhook is basically a custom URL to which we can send some data. So we'll be using Airtable to send some data to this custom URL. So let's create this custom URL first. We can ignore all the rest and basically save. And now we can see that we have a URL generated, which we can use in further actions. Just to show you the most basic way how it works, let's just copy the address to the clipboard. Here, let's click OK, and let's run the scenario here. So we can see now make Integromat is listening to that particular webhook, whether anything will happen, whether when that webhook is triggered. So let's open new window and let's paste it here. Here we got response accepted. And here inside of uh, make Integromat, we can see that this webhook has caught that particular request. You can see it says empty because there was no data that has been passed over there. So if you would like to pass some data to that particular webhook, the way you would do it would be you would add a question mark at the end and type the name of the variable, variable one, and then value of the information that you would like to send. Let's do it one more time. I have this one off process existing. So this was the webhook that I have just sent. All right. So you can see that I was able to pass information to this webhook so that I can receive it here. Okay. Now let's go back to a useful <laughs> way of using it. So it's um, applicable for your scenarios. Let's go back here to Airtable. So what we would happen, what we would like to happen is that whenever the state, the status negotiation changes to close one, we are sending out this information to webhook. So what we will do is that we will be using the automation over here. And the first step would be when a record matches certain conditions. So we will set here opportunities and the condition will be status and the option is closed one. So whenever the record will start matching these conditions, this automation will get triggered. We can click use suggested record or choose record, doesn't matter, okay. So right now we can see that whenever this condition is met, we will receive this information for that particular record that we can use in the next step. And the next step will be triggering the webhook here. And to do that, we'll be actually using a scripting block. So we will click run script. And inside of the script, first we'll make sure that we have the record ID for that particular record. So we know what was the record that triggered this. So what we will do here, we'll type record ID so that we know that this is a new variable that we are adding from the previous step into the code. And the value of this will be record ID, okay? And now we need a bit more code to send it to a webhook. So what we'll do here, I'll just copy paste. You can copy paste it from the description below. 
it is a fairly simple code. You don't need to know what are the details over here. We are basically retrieving the record ID from the input data over here. And what we're doing as a next step, we are using a simple fetch request, which is basically um, similar to a request over here, to make a request to that particular URL. So what we will do here, we'll substitute the template over here with the actual URL that we have. So we'll, we don't need this at the very end, we just need the actual webhook. Okay, let's replace it here. And at the end, we want to pass one parameter. So we will do question mark and we'll write record ID, this thing equals, and we're gluing to this string record ID that we have used to trigger this automation. And here we are just logging the response and so on, just for any debugging in the future. You could actually the same way add more strings and more information. So you could add here additional variable and have more of them. And then you could also retrieve them in the same same way. So you could have here variable two and so on, any other variable that you would like to have. If it does not exist because you haven't added it here, you'll notice the warning. You see the warning disappears, but we don't need any additional variable for now. Let's delete it. Any additional variable you would be adding here, plus quotation mark ampersand variable two equals plus variable following the same pattern. So you would be basically adding variable equals and actual variable and 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 but we don't need this here. So we'll just go back to this step. Okay, so in this simple scenario, we will only send the data for the record ID because we'll fetch all the other information inside of make integromat in much simpler way. Okay, so let's test this one, make sure that this one is running so we can see it live. Test run successfully, 200, and here we have received the record ID which is fantastic because once we have the record ID, we can actually use Airtable module here to retrieve all the additional data about that particular record. So let's get Airtable, get a record. Let's find the base that we were looking at. Let's select the opportunities and as a record ID, we'll take the record ID from the previous webhook. Now let's click OK. And let's run this scenario. And here we can do a test as well. So now you can see that we have sent this record again. And here we have all the details for that particular record. So right now we can use any other software that is available inside of Integromat or, or Zapier. And we can connect it with hundreds of thousands of uh, different, different softwares and modules. And we can pass the data from from our Airtable based on the event. So let's finish it off here. So let's click finish editing and let's turn it on. All right, so the script is on. All right, so now let's test how this automation works. So let's imagine that we have won the negotiation, closed one, and now we expect the contract to be generated inside of Airtable. And we can see that the automation has triggered the webhook. Here we have the details of the contract and we can pass this information to MailChimp, Freshdesk, SendGrid, any other software that you would like to use. So this is a simple way how to use automations inside of Airtable to trigger automatically any events outside of Airtable uh, using webhooks and you can use either make.com or you can use Zapier for that. All right. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And if so, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.